Hi at home, everyone. We got some core. It's Friday, so we're gonna do a little core. You can use some tools from home if you want. If you have dumbbells, you can use dumbbells. I'm gonna use laundry detergent, so that's an option. You can use water bottles. You can use nothing. This just gives you extra resistance. And also some of the moves will be lifting our legs up and over something, which once again, you don't have to use anything if you don't want to. So that being said, we're just gonna warm up that core a little bit and take you into eight exercises, 30 seconds each. You're gonna decide how many runs you wanna do depending on your fitness level. Reach over. Stretching it through. Both hands go over. Reach it over singles. Double that up. And reach. Four more. Both arms overhead. Reach across that chest. Stand, stand. Stretching it through. Four more. Little twist. Opening up that waist. We're gonna be getting ready to take it down to the floor. If you have a little mat, that would be ideal. Give me eight more. Eight. Six. Four, two, march it out. Okay, get down to the mat. Set your props up if you choose to use some props. Shoulders down and back, spine is stacked. Be aware that you don't sink into your lower back. Navel drawn into the spine. We're gonna lean back to you feel the engagement in that core. Take your legs to the outside, your detergent or your dumbbell or your water bottle. You're gonna lift up and over, up and over, and back. 30 seconds. Here we go. Options could be one leg at a time. You got it, here we go, five seconds. And second exercise. You can do this with or without a prop. Dumbbell, laundry detergent, or just your arms are overhead, knees are bent, navel drawn into the spine. Bend the right knee in, and come towards your ankle with whatever you're holding. If you're not holding anything, it's just your hands reach towards your ankles. Breathing out as you come up. If it gets too much to lift all the way up, you can just come and tap to the top of the knees. Five seconds. Here we go. Two. And one, coming into play position. You can be on your palms, or you can use these nifty little tools. Neck and line, spine, abs are tight, shoulders directly over the palms. Cross over planks. Bringing that knee all the way across. Be aware of your alignment. Keeping those glutes down. Aware of what your neck is doing. You want to keep it aligned in the spine. Don't drop that head down. You got it. 
Ten seconds. Here we go. Five. Two. Come down to the knees. Roll onto the butt. Butterfly position. Heel to heel, toe to toe. If you want to use your prop, arms are right on the center of the chest. And straight. Navel grinding to the spine tight. Pull it in. Exhale as you come up. Tap in front of the toes. Slow and controlled on the way down. Lifting up, reaching out, control, layering that spine. Five seconds. Place the prop back in, leave a little space. Shoulders down the back, lean back. Legs are wide to the outside. You're gonna lift up, down, out, and over. Coming to the center, peek at the top. Doing what you can. Being aware of your form. If you feel strain in the back, stop and take a stretch break. Ten seconds to go. Deva, two, and one. Back into your plank position. You can be on your palms. Find an object that has some weight to it so that you can pass it across the other side. Reach for it. Put it a little distance so you have to reach and pull. So if you have a dumbbell, laundry detergent, maybe a big box, or fill a backpack with something, and drag it across. There's so many options. You want it to be an effort to pull it to the other side. Engage in that oblique as you reach over. Depending on where you're at in your fitness 